Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and hey, lots of videos today, eh? Well, thankfully, this one has nothing to do with YouTube other than being on YouTube. Uh, today, Google announced the release of AR Core 1.5. What may you ask is AR Core? Well, the name kind of says it are all. <laughs> AR stands for Augmented Reality. This is their version of like, AR Kit, like Apple has. This is for developing all augmented reality experiences. You know, the kind of thing where you point your phone at something and 3D objects can be transposed on the scene. Uh, this is for Chromebook and Android devices. More so on the Chromebook side with this release. Before, it was mostly just an Android-only library. So what exactly is in AR Core 1.5? Well, there's some nice stuff here. First off, they added GLTF loading support in SceneForm. What is SceneForm? SceneForm is an API built on top of AR Core. Uh, basically, it's a rendering library scene layer. Um, scene graph for uh, kind of creating applications easily. So if you want to create AR only experiences on Android and Chromebook devices, you would use potentially scene form and AR core to accomplish that. At the same time, both Unreal Engine and Unity support AR core to a certain degree. So you can also use those engines, which will fall back and support AR functionality as well. So if you're using one of those engines, you can just wait for them to be updated to support the 1.5 release. So we've got GLTF uh, loading support. GLTF is an open source, open uh, format for 3D model exchanges. Hopefully it will replace uh, Collada and FBX in the future as the one true standard. More and more game engines are getting support for GLTF, and this is great. A logical open um, 3D file format controlled by a consortium as opposed to Autodesk is something we should all be pretty excited about. So now you can load it in scene form. Uh, in this release of AR Core. At the top of that, they're also publishing the SceneForm UX library. So the user experience library over top, the source code for that is now available. So common elements like plane detection and object transformation are part of that library. Now the cool thing is SceneForm is also used by another Google library I talked about recently, and I'll get back to that in just a second. So this other library will benefit from the SceneForm UX library extensions as well, or source code release as well. And on top of that, you can now, um, add point cloud IDs to AR core. So you can see various different points in space that can now be identified, um, used for code. So new points will have the following elements. Each ID is unique. Therefore, the same value shows up in more than one frame. You'll know that it was associated with the same point. And points that go out of you are lost forever. Um, on top of that, they added support for some new devices in AR core 1.5, specifically Chrome OS device, uh, the Acer Chromebook Tab 10. Don't own one, uh, don't tend to own one, but if you're a Chromebook Tab 10 user, a great news. You're welcome to the uh, augmented reality party with this release. So that is AR Core. Uh, as you can see, there are already libraries for AR Core for Unity and AR Core for Unreal. So if you're all about the augmented reality and you use one of those game engines, you'll benefit from this kind of seamlessly. If you are an Android developer, there is an update. Additionally, there is the scene form library I mentioned earlier. Now, as I always do, all of these links will be down below. So if you want to learn more, those links are there for you. So the uh, scene form SDK that I was talking about a second ago, uh, this is a 3D framework with physically based renderer that's optimized for mobile and makes it easy for Java developers to build augmented reality apps. So this is sort of a library built on top of AR Core. The one I was talking about a little bit earlier is an open source PBR rendering engine also from Google called Filament. I'll toss this link down below as well. So this is an alternative, I suppose, where it's actually kind of layered upon. It gets a little confusing. Um, but as you can see, Filament is a real-time physically-based rendering engine for Android, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and WebGL. So there, you're not just stuck to the Android platform, which is where the real strength of Filament comes in. Now, why this is relevant to today's conversation is Filament is currently used in the SceneForm library at runtime on Android devices and as the renderer inside the Android Studio plugin. So this release, to a certain degree, will impact the Filament library as well. So if you're looking for a cross-platform renderer, definitely consider checking out the filament library, which is also made by Google. Confused yet? I don't blame you. It's kind of confusing. So anyways, that is that. That is a uh, new AR Core 1.5 release. I'm curious, any of you guys working in augmented reality? To be honest, I'm kind of yeah on it. This kind of stuff was around years and years ago. It's kind of just bringing together, you know, GPS, camera, and the gyroscope on top of your phone and rebranding it as augmented reality. But Google used to have an app that did this stuff like seven years ago when I first bought my first uh, Android device, and I don't know why this is a new lovely thing, but Apple went all in on marketing AR in the most recent iPad release, so 
uh, maybe I'm just missing the boat here and I don't see why this is so awesome, but it is cool seeing an updated framework such as AR Core. So if you are into augmented reality, do be sure to check this out. And once again, all the links down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye for now.